What's going on, everyone? What an amazing day. Uh, wow, the market just really, really ripped upwards in a way where not many people were expecting. But of course, if you were in my Discord channel, within the first 30 or 40 minutes, free Discord channel, completely free, within the first 30 or 40 minutes, uh, we ended up hitting Facebook for 53%, Facebook for 30%, NVIDIA for minus six, which ended up becoming a winner right afterward. Uh, NVIDIA for 17.5%, and then SPY for minus 3, which ended up running to 20% as well. And then towards the end of the day, we got into VIX calls for 10%. These are all free. I post all of my trades live completely for free. Check the link in the description below, man. This is no joke. Uh, I do all of this stuff, guys, completely for free. There's, I mean, there's not really much else to say. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I can charge for all of this. Uh, there's tons of people that are just like, you know, like, <laughs> I'll pay $100 a month. I'll pay $200 a month. But I'm doing all of this completely for free. So go ahead, join the uh, Discord. You'll get access to all of my alerts. Just click on the how to join channel and you will get access. And then I'll, you know, send me a DM and everything will be good. Anyway, let's get started with the video. We're going to go over the SPY, the NASDAQ, the IWM, the 30-year bonds, the large tech stocks. And the crypto market, because the crypto market is starting to really heat up. All right, so let's start with that. Number one, damn, the SPY. Uh, it's barely even falling any lower. It's, uh, this is just a ridiculous, strong move. And it was, you know, hinted at the bottom over here, basically by the strength in Bitcoin down here. And that basically signaled the strength in the broad stock market overall. So what we can do here is... Obviously, we see that 443.38 is upwards resistance. It's very, very important resistance. All right. 440 is clearly very, very strong support. Then 438 is clearly going to be the next level of support below. All right. So right now, usually when the market has this big of a move to the upside in the past uh, four days, right? There usually should be a bit of a retracement, all right? Unless, so look, intraday, right? Uh, so number one right now, this is really, really, uh, this is a, not a swing traders market right now. Uh, especially, so not right now, it, meaning like into tomorrow and over the weekend and then starting early next week, it's very dangerous to hold any large swing positions overnight. It's much better to just day trade. And essentially, if the SPY ends up breaking above 443.38, then uh, that is going to be really, really bullish. But until then, I believe that it would still be healthy for the SPY to potentially come back and retest this 435 area, which would be the 23.6% FIB. Uh, we could, even if we come back and retest 434, 435, this area right here, that is still completely very, very bullish because that would just be a simple retracement back to support. And then that would essentially give more steam, some consolidation and upside move. Okay. So, right. But clearly, this is very, very strong. I didn't alert any lotto calls overnight um, because we're very, very overextended. And it wouldn't feel, I wouldn't feel comfortable holding any lotto calls. Um, so yeah, essentially everything, this is just ridiculously bullish. And now the MACD is very, very overextended to the upside in terms of the yellow MACD line, right? Uh, you can see this blue MACD line is all the way up here. Yellow MACD line is clearly much further away, but now the yellow MACD line is starting to move upwards, which is showing the overall momentum of the SPY is starting to move upwards as well. The RSI is moving upwards barely here you can see which is very very bullish even though we made a huge green candle today the rsi is barely moving that is very very bullish but the other thing is the upper level of the bollinger band is very very close it's essentially at 444 31 so tomorrow it's going to be even lower because the bollinger band is falling lower here as you can see so tomorrow um you know it can end up Coming down to around 443.38, which would basically put it in exact confluence with this upper resistance. And that is going to be a very important level of resistance. But overall, the SPY is still showing strength. I still see even some form of consolidation back down to 435 would still be healthy. Um, 
But really, you know, this is really it. The Spy is showing strength. But tomorrow is quad witching day. So quad witching is when all of the options expire. And usually it is a very, very volatile time. So especially, uh, it is not safe to hold a lot of uh, heavy positions overnight. Especially not over the weekend. So uh, we're not going to do that. So there's that for the SPY. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the IWM. The IWM clearly showing ridiculous strength here today as well. Uh, we closed above 205. Uh, no, sorry. We closed above 204.81. And we did close above 205 as well. But 204.81 was this very key level of resistance. We melted up over everything today. And once again, on the IWM as well, the upper Bollinger Band is very, very close. So again, um, when we are this close to the upside, it is less safe to be long, okay? And when we are at the lows, it's much safer to be long. It's much safer to be long, okay? Does that make sense? But overall, 204.81, key level of resistance we broke. That's going to be the new support. Then obviously 203.74, and then these levels down here, 201.50. Aside from that, Super, super strong. Not much else to talk about. Let's take a look at the large tech stocks, the 30-year bond, and the NASDAQ. Apple, clearly bullish. RSI, barely moving upwards, yet we had a green day. That's very, very bullish. Uh, the resistance for tomorrow is going to be 162. If we can break above 162 tomorrow, that is going to be ridiculous. But again, overall, the entire market made a very, very dramatic move to the upside. I would not, I would not mind... For a bit of a correction. Just a little bit. That would be completely fine. But overall, Apple looks very, very bullish. Let's take a look at Microsoft. Clearly also very bullish. Same resistance, 297.97. Let's take a look at Google. Clearly bullish. We came back, retested uh, 26.60 and are moving upwards. Um, let's take a look at Amazon. Amazon had a huge day. Um, 31.27 broke above. You can see that it's also getting close to the upper level of the Bollinger Band. The yellow MACD line is starting to move upwards as well. Very, very bullish. And of course, Tesla had a ridiculous day as well. Uh, it's not even as far away on the MACD as the other stocks and indices are. So this has a lot of explosive moves to the upside. Still in its tank, okay? So keep, uh, <clears throat> keep 900. And um, 925 under watch, essentially, for Tesla if the market can continue upwards. But again, guys, a nice little retracement would not hurt anyone. I would love to rebuy a little bit cheaper, okay? But, of course, tomorrow is also OPEX, or, sorry, tomorrow is also uh, quad witching. And then holding over the weekend is also very risky. So, yeah, overall, the large tech stocks look very, very bullish. Let's take a look at the bonds. Bonds, uh, you know, they're, bo <laughs> they're bottoming out. You know, I guess uh, the MACD is starting to move upwards. We could have a bit of a bounce. But again, you know, um, not the really cleanest setup in terms of correlation between the equities and uh, the bond market currently. Um, so, I mean, yeah, there's not really much else to say. <laughs> there's that for the bonds. Uh, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, we melted upwards on everything. We had a really, really ridiculously strong day overnight. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying, but very, very strong day. 345 is the next level of resistance. Then after 345, 347, 38 is going to be a major, major level of resistance. If we can close back above 347, 38, that is going to be very, very strong. And currently we can see that the NASDAQ is underperforming compared to where it is, uh, compared to the SPY and the IWM in terms of the upper level of the Bollinger Band, we can see that the NASDAQ is not as close to the upper level of the Bollinger Band as the SPY and the IWM are, which means that there is a lot more room to go to the upside, in my opinion. So, but again, overall, guys, it would not be a bad thing if we could have a bit of a retracement. Uh, but, you know, uh, that is not guaranteed. But overall, tomorrow is going to be very, very interesting uh it's going to be a day of patience but now i want to take a look at a few things in the crypto markets not just the chart of bitcoin all right so let's take a look at the crypto markets 
All right, so this is a chart of ETH BTC. This is basically showing the outperformance of Ethereum and the other altcoins in terms, uh, you know, in comparison to Bitcoin. So when this chart shows strength, that is very, very, very good. Because if the second tier, the crappier coins in the crypto market, you know, Ethereum specifically, right? It's not Bitcoin, right? So if the other coins in the crypto market are starting to do well, that is basically showing a healthy balance of strength in the entire space overall. So the fact that this is starting to show a lot of bullishness is a good sign, okay? So based off of this, that basically means that after a day or two, maybe, right? Once this finishes moving upwards, Bitcoin can pick up the pace and basically they'll end up taking turns pumping which is very, very good, okay? So that's the first thing I want to show. Uh, ETH BTC is showing a lot of strength. The other thing is, obviously, I want to share the chart of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is... It's consolidating, and it's holding support right above this important trend line, all right? While Ethereum, uh, the ETH BTC pair is starting to break out, having this show strength above important level of support is is a very very important thing all right so as long as bitcoin continues to respond this way uh even if you know, as long as the ETH btc is doing well even if bitcoin comes back and retests forty thousand two hundred, that's still going to be fine because uh then once ETH btc ends up retracing back a bit all of those gains are going to end up going back into bitcoin and um that's going to be really, really bullish. Overall, this is a really, really important, really good uh, thing that's basically happened for the crypto market. So I want you guys to understand that. I hope you guys did. Make sure to uh, you know, follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord server. It's completely for free. Uh, go to the How to Join channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, Put on the notifications, like, comment. Subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have an amazing day.